Hey, this is Nay, and welcome to my channel. So, I've come to talk about Kayali's Invite Only Amber 23, and just break it down for you guys, okay? I just want to take this, this fragrance and tear apart the fragrance note by note, what I feel like each note smells like what it does to the fragrance when I would wear this fragrance and if I actually like this fragrance so if you'd like to hear about that keep on watching but before you keep on watching please go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fam I post um <laughs> at least every other day sometimes every day okay um so there's gonna be a lot of content on here I talk about a whole bunch of different fragrances I like to smell good look good feel good taste good Okay, that's my motto in life. <laughs> uh, and so I will, that will reflect in this channel. So let's just jump right into it. This is the bottle I have. I have this small one. I'm going to tell you right now, this bottle is full bottle worthy. And when I say full, I don't even mean the 1.7 or 1 fluid ounce. I mean the 3.4 ounce. And I will eventually... And I say eventually because I have quite a few fragrances. So this is not a rush to go buy the big size because I do have this. But I will at some point own the full size bottle of this. Guys. This is so, so delicious. So grown. So ever Honestly, there's so many notes in here. Um, and... There's only a few notes I can break down, take from it, but this is blended very, very well. So, Kayali, if you guys didn't know, although I'm sure you do know, Kayali is a from female owned business, okay? And they have quite a few different fragrances, um, like Eden Juicy Apple. Oh, one, uh, Kaya, they have, so, guys, I can't even get into it. I think they have like nine or ten, maybe eight different fragrances. I can't even stop smelling this. I'm gonna, okay, I'm <laughs> gonna say something and this might turn you off, but I just want to be realistic. It's giving slight cinnamon medicine vibes, but in the best way possible. When you just spray it, whoa! I sprayed it. Oh, my, that spray went right into my nostrils. It's definitely an, a um a bright, slightly nose crinkling smell. That it, it definitely needs some time to wear down. The magic in this particular fragrance is in the dry down. So let's talk about the main accords. Manicords are sweet, amber, warm, spicy, tobacco, cherry, cinnamon, woody, nutty, vanilla, honey. This was launched in 2021, so it's relatively new. Uh, and let's just go right into the notes. So the top notes are tobacco leaf, sour cherry, honey, chocolate, and hazelnut. All right. I just want to take a little piece of paper here. Because I'm not going to keep spraying it into the air because... We're trying not to waste perfume like that. We try not to waste fragrance too much here. Okay. The first thing I smell in here is definitely that cherry, that sour cherry. I'm really not even a big fan of cherry. Tom Ford's lost cherry. Don't attack me was not for me. That bitter peach. But the last cherry was not for me. Bitter Peach is very nice on Tom Ford. But you definitely get that sour cherry. The to when you think tobacco leaf, please don't think tobacco vanilla, to tobacco vanilla from Tom Ford. That is a very deep, in out of grown, dig up the dirt to go in out of grown type of tobacco smell. This is more of like um the actual like 
dried out leaves if you were to smell that right it's not on it's not lit it's just literally the, the tobacco leaves spread out and you caught some laughs of it that is what she's smelling here that sour cherry definitely adds something to it and then as you keep smelling it because that's automatically what i get just those two notes i don't catch that chocolate and that hazelnut until later on it's <laughs> And I feel like that cherry is lifted up by floral, um, those roses that are in here. Because the middle notes are Ceylon, cinnamon, May rose, damask rose, and citrus leaf. So the lost, the lost cherry, <laughs> the sour cherry is lifted up and risen into the skies by the rose, both rose. May rose, I feel like it's like a fresher type of rose while the mask rose gives me from the fragrances i have smelted in a little bit like a sweeter slightly like candied type of rose and the cinnamon honestly is really throughout the entirety of the scent so if you do not like cinnamon this is in my opinion a cinnamon heavy fragrance if you don't like floral i don't think this is gonna affect you i'm not a big floral type of gal but i like this Although I did say the sour cherry gets lifted up by the rose, it's not in a way that is thinking like, don't think any white florals or super green notes. Although something in here is slightly, slightly green on the dry down. The base notes are amber, vanilla, arg, arg, agar wood. Oh my gosh. Which is just think like oud. We'll get into oud in a second. Benzoin, cypress oil, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. That's a heck of a lot of base notes, okay? I think there's a, the same amount of base notes as in the top and middle notes combined. <laughs> it's a lot of base notes. Amber is just a really warm. If warm were to have a smell, in my opinion, it would be amber. Vanilla and benzoin are in my like they in the similar family benzoin has like a pinch of like cinnamon type of vanilla like a slight sweetness benzoin's like on the sweeter side from what i smell and vanilla this is not this is not your syrupy sweet type of vanilla this is not that uh at least from what i catch on my nose and on my body this is honestly the vanilla is so pushed back i smell so much more cinnamon in here than i do vanilla so if that's that just that's i want that to be something you're very aware of the cinnamon is strong the force of cinnamon is strong in this one okay <laughs> um cipral oil maybe that's the green slightly green oil i i don't know if i have anything that has cipral oil or cipral oil i'm probably butchering that so woody earthy dry okay ah this makes sense so it's saying it leans to like that vetiver and patchouli type of scent Vetiver to me is just like a watered down patchouli, like you like it's a better absorbed like by the masses type of patchouli. Uh, just think earthy, think slightly green. When I smell this cipral oil, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I don't smell even here. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I do have some sap fragrances that have oud and this is definitely not a something i think you need to be afraid of if you're not a oud type of person i don't think you need to be afraid of this particular fragrance like i said i think you need to be more concerned about the woody um cinnamon sour cherry raised by floral like the the rose in here more than anything i'm not sure if my nose just doesn't like chocolate but it always takes me a while to comprehend the smell of chocolate in fragrance. That 
I get a, a, a slight bubbliness, which is probably coming from that citrus leaf. It's so nice. It's so grown. I almost feel like, I almost feel like this is some type of alcoholic beverage while someone has an unlit cigar in their mouth. Okay, but the cigar, the, the you smell tobacco from hours earlier, someone had smoked one in the building, but it's very faint. And the, the drink is definitely some type of hot alcoholic beverage, okay? It's a hot alcoholic beverage doused in some type of so some cinnamon type of fragrance. I feel like adding something, a fragrance with apple would really just make this almost smell like a... Um, I'm, I'm I'm getting lost in the like a spiced apple type of alcoholic beverage. I think that would just add something nice to here, but it's just a really warm scent. I think the musk you can't take apart the musk from here. The musk just adds some depth, more adultness, more strength to this fragrance. This is not one to be blind bought, in my opinion. I definitely think you need to smell this in person without a doubt like i said it's almost like a cinnamony syrup medicine type of vibe when you just smell quick quick smell quick mm, that's what i smell and as you really sniff into it it really gets really deep it's definitely on the sweet side but it's like that slightly medicinal type of sweet which isn't a bad don't think terrible things to it but for me whenever you have cherry or cinnamon type of things it lean slightly medicinal i don't really catch honey in here i think the honey just adds a little a little more a little sweetness to it but it's not like you can't really take apart the honey in this particular fragrance but i would definitely say i would i think you can get away with this for sure all throughout fall winter and you could honestly get away with this in the springtime and the nighttime of springtime the nighttime of springtime it's just a very sweet-esque, deep, sexy. This is not sensual. I say this is sexy. This is something that I have worn before and my husband has commented that he really enjoyed how I smell. Like, he didn't say it like that, but I'm just saying it like that, you know? Um, but I think this is, like, very delicious, very good, but definitely not a safe blind buy, on my opinion. It's interesting to me that the cherry is really just pushed up by the floral, the roses in here without it smelling florally to my nose. But I can, it's, it's very interesting how they blended this and I would love to know that. The juice is almost like this very slight tinged pink type of vibe and I absolutely love that. However, when you go and look in the, the actual look of the big bottle um, is a amber type of color. When I think of invite only amber, this is not necessarily what I'm getting. Um, amber, it, it, while this is a warm fragrance, it's kind of spicy, it's not the deep amber, amber I would guess by the name of it, but it, it does its due diligence and it does what's, what it's supposed to do. I mean, what do you guys think of invite only amber 23? Um, let me know. Do you guys have this? Would you buy a full bottle? Do you already own a full bottle? <laughs> If any men are watching, would you like your woman to smell like this? I mean, let me know in the comments. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.